Hujui ndoto yetu. Hujui ndoto yetu wao jamaa. Kwa hivyo yao jamaa wamenajisi. Wamenajisi mshana wetu. Lakini bado mambo bado. Hujazana ai. Hao jamaa wenyewe ni hanisi. Ni hanisi wazifanya. <laughs> Hata wakini kule maji linatoka Haina mbegu Sasa mimi nataka kutoa shukrani sana kwa Kiyangijana yangu, rafiki yangu Atuwa salim Uyu Atuwa minasema Hamefanya kazi mzuri sana Hii nanyesha ya kwamba Hei mwenyewe ni muta mbae anaangalia mbali zaidi Hii fikra ya kuleta maji hapa Mimi nilitoa maoni Na ushauri Lakini wawo inyewe ndia mefanya hii kazi Hii kazi mimi nilisema inaweze kufanyika Inaweze kana Na sasa wameweka nini maji Wale chimba pale inatoka Inapigwa Nimeenda pale sijani misandu Nindua pale Hapa nitatua maji hapa kwa shule hapa hapa Maji ni uhai Na jamaa mefanya kazi mzuri sana Tunatua shukrani kabisa Asante sana kijana Asante kijana yangu Yale mba mefanya ni maneno mzuri sana Imradi Inataka ilindwe Inataka vile vile Ofanya njia ya kuweka Stima ya kudumu Mambo ya kuleta kama solar power ambaye sasa garama itakuwa yuko chini zaidi inatakana ifanyike hapa sasa nimesikia vile vile ombi ya shule hapa na poranya maongea sana juwa mambo ya CDF na mpanga ambaye tuluku nae wakati huu mwake mambo ya harambe tuliwacha sasa pesa inaweka kwenye bajeti moja kwa moja inaitua national CDF ambaye napitia kwa mkono ya mbunge wa mbunge ifike hapa chini mbunge wenu hapa bwana rafiki yangu bwana mdama mimi namjua sana wale 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 ambao wametereza kidogo wameingia mgambo ile ngine kimpa wanyorosha warudi nyumbani kwa hivyo hii tuhakisha kwamba hii shule yale ambayo mmeomba majengo yamefanyika vizuri Jengo ito jengo sawa sawa hapa Ili mi mje nitakuja kuzindua mpango ya hii ujengo hae Kwa sasa Mi mi mje nitatua hapa laki moja Kwa shuli hapa Kujuku Shukranti Asante sana. Asante. Halafu wale vikundi ambayo wale tutumbuliza hapa. Ni sababu ni kwa vikundi vitano. Kila mmoja atapata 1000. Wale. Halafu Wale watoto baba wamefika kwa shule Baba kama wikuja watoto mpaka Wapati peremende Wakunya soda kidogo Mimi natoa kwa Watoto hapa Alofishirini Sasawa Sasawa Asante sana Sasa Nataka niongea na wale wengine huku mbao wako inarobi huku Siku ya leo kumekua na tarifa katika gazeti ya Nation There is today an article in the Nation which is talking about Azimio That Azimio is actually breaking up I want to dispel any rumor that is being spread by irresponsible media That there is no danger in Azimio collapsing any soon in time soon. I really want our media to be responsible. We don't want media to spread unnecessary and irresponsible propaganda. Nobody has left Azimio. 
has, been, has remained intact except a few members of parliament who decided to take a walk. But the leadership of Azimio is intact. There is no dissension. There is no disagreement anywhere in Azimio. And that's why we actually are taken aback to see a banner headline in a very uh, uh, senior media in the country. We want to say this is irresponsible journalism that must be discarded. We don't want the media to try to spread the despondency among the members of Azimio. We have stood very firm. Azimio is on a course of liberation of this country. Azimio, may, there may be sometimes disagreement of opinion on one issue or the other, but that itself does not mean in any way disintegration. So I want to inform all our members, wherever they are, across the country. Azimio Iko Imara. Azimio is remaining united and Azimio will not break up anytime soon. We are on a course to liberate this country from the tyranny and the responsibility. Second thing is that I have just read that the 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 the, uh, the 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 CJ that is the the um, chief justice the head of judiciary has gone for a meeting with the president in the state house this in our view is an irresponsible move if there is supposed to be a dialogue this dialogue should be held in a neutral place state house is the head of the executive, is the seat of the executive. That's where the president resides. If there's going to be a dialogue over issues of governance, the case must be should be held in a neutral ground. But this means that the judiciary itself is being compromised by the executive. The judiciary is being held hostage by the executive. And we've seen this before. You saw it happen under the rule of Mr. Moy, and we have tried to question the current chief justice not to go to bed with the executive. It is an unfortunate development, and we want to hope that the rest of members of the judiciary are not going to be compromised. We want the judges to remain firm and uh, do their work in accordance with the law and the constitution of our country. This was a statement that we wanted to make today. Thank you very much. God help Kenya. Asante Nisan. Asante. Asante.